Alrighty, welcome back everyone. Today we are going to continue our hunting guides playlist. Uh, today's target is going to be Sarush. Uh, so we are getting toward the end here. Uh, Sarush isn't that bad. It's uh, You can solo it depending on how adequately geared you are. However, as mentioned before in previous videos, you know, if you can't uh, solo it or if you feel that you may have issues, then you might want to bring a friend just for the sole fact that, you know, we are getting toward the end here. Uh, and you don't want to lose any of your lures. Um, so either have a bunch of mass scrolls with you or, you know, bring some friends. Um, Sarush isn't that bad. Uh, and uh, we'll, we'll uh, move right along into this video. And I'll see you guys in the jungle here momentarily. I will bring up the lure location for you. Alright guys, and here we are back in the jungle. If you use your map as a reference point, this is the spawn location for Sarush. So we will go ahead and spawn this. And then you want to mow him down as quickly as possible. He does spawn adds, but nothing uh, that you shouldn't be able to, uh, to solo as long as you're adequately equipped. Now, like I said, if you do want to bring friends, by all means, <clears throat> it's better to be safer than sorry, of course. Uh, Sarush does have a little bit of HP, however, his attacks aren't extremely uh, heavy. So just go ahead, mow him down, uh, and hopefully, you know, you get RNG on your side. So we're about halfway down here, as I did say, he does have a good bit of HP. Uh, however, his attacks are not that heavy. Uh, he will spawn multiple adds throughout. Now, if you're in a group, then you're probably just going to destroy this without any problems. Uh, but since I'm doing it by myself, you know, I do have to maintain the adds as well. So we will mow him down here, finish him off. Finish off the adds. And then we'll go ahead and see if we got lucky. So it unfortunately does not look like we got lucky, however I do have one to show you guys. And this is what you're going to be after here, is the Sarush's Bloody Incisor. Alrighty guys, and that is going to conclude today's video. Uh, that is Sarush, so that is going to be uh, one of the three... Uh, trophies that you're going to need to finally spawn that King of Spines. Once you do obtain all three of those, you'll be able to make the King of Spines lore and then finally uh, do King of Spines. So, like I mentioned, Sarush isn't that hard. Um, you should be able to solo it if you're adequately equipped. If not, make sure you do bring your friends. Uh, and then you are looking for that Sarush's uh, Bloody Incisor. So, like I said, that is one of the three lures that you're going to... Or I'm sorry, one of the three trophies that you're going to need to go ahead and make that King of Spines uh, lure. So that's going to wrap it up for the video, guys. As always, if you do have any comments, please leave them below. Uh, I will also leave a link in the description to the Hunting Guide playlist where all of the hunts will be gone over. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video today, and I will see you guys in the next one.